Wow, Master Chief, you're a killing machine. She said that to me once, about being a machine. Why'd you have to say that? Now I miss Cortana. What'd I say? What's up fellow collectors, today I am talking about the Halo 5 Guardians Master Chief action figure. This figure looks very, very cool and I'm happy because it's the Master Chief and he's like pretty much my favorite character in Halo. I know it's kind of cliche, but I love him and I finally got the Halo 5 version action figure of him, so I'm excited to review that. He comes with a assault rifle with a different kind of paint job on it, it looks pretty cool. He also comes with a pistol. And uh, he looks pretty cool in the package. You get a picture of what he looks like in the game, all Master Chiefed out, you know, looking pretty sweet. On the back here, you get to see all the figures that come out within the series, and I have reviews on all of these figures coming out. And then I gotta hunt down the exclusives and do reviews on those. So it's gonna be a busy month for Halo stuff on my channel, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of that awesomeness. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this figure up and review it. All right, I got Mr. Master Chief opening out of the package, and I didn't have any issues with the joints or anything loose or breaking or anything weird like that, which I'm very, very happy about. Let's talk about with what he comes with first. You get this little requirement pack that all the Halo 5 Series 1 figures get, and it looks like you get some extra downloadable content here. Doesn't really tell you what it actually is, but it's some sort of bonus content that you'll get in the Halo 5 game, which I am very, very excited about because I will be picking up Halo 5 at the end of this month. Very happy about that. It comes with a Magnum, which looks really nice. I like the dry brushing and the sculpt and the molding and all that good stuff all over there. It's got a little hole in it, so you can actually attach a weapons peg in there, which it also comes with. And you can go ahead and put it on his right or left thigh. There's a peg hole right up there. Bam, just like that. Now he's got a sidearm all holstered. Looks really cool. He also comes with an assault rifle with a nice, unique uh, weapon skin to it. You know, normally we see these things, they're pretty much all gray or silver. This has got some, you know, white paint at the top. Um, some green down at the bottom and at the end of the gun looking very cool And I like the sculpt and detail work that McFarlane put into that also comes with a weapons peg that you can Conveniently place on Mr. Master Chief's back now. He does an excellent job holding on to the assault rifle I wish he had a trigger finger so he could actually get his finger into the trigger and you know I think it'd look a lot better like that I probably end up modifying and cutting out that little bracket above the trigger so he can get his full hand in there I think it'll look better on display like that and look better for my animations like that So I'm pretty excited that the assault rifle actually does fit really well into his hands It's not gonna fall out or anything, you know, it's very very tight nice and snug fit and like the assault rifle the same could be said with the pistol you know pretty much all the spartans don't have any issues you know holding a pistol or an assault rifle you know when you get to like rocket launchers and some of the other covenant weapons it gets a little tricky but for the most part the spartans can pretty much hold every weapon out there that mcfarland's made from the halo 3 line to the halo reach line you know, I really haven't had any issues with Spartans holding weapons. It's mainly just the Covenant characters. Now, I love the amount of detail that McFarlane put into the Master Chief. I love all the silver dry brushing they put all over his armor. Definitely give him that worn out battle look, you know, because he's been through a lot since the Halo 5 game. You know, the visor looks brand new and shiny, doesn't have the cracks in it anymore from that fight with the Didact. Very cool looking figure, I definitely like all the detail work that they put all over the Master Chief. I really enjoy the sculpting of this figure, and the armor just really, really suits, you know, the way he looks in the game. Still, it doesn't have that classic, iconic Master Chief look, but, you know, Master Chief and 343, I guess, have evolved beyond what... You know, the old school Master Chief look from Halo 2 and, you know, especially Halo 1. You know, it's completely, totally different character, it looks like. But, uh, you know, for the most part, it still resembles the Master Chief uh, in its own way. So I'm happy about that. You know, the Master Chief's probably my all-time favorite character within, you know, all the science fiction type stuff. You know, I've been a diehard Halo fan ever since combat evolved. Now here's a quick comparison between the Halo 5 and Halo 4 Master Chief. This is the Halo 4, this is the Halo 5. And really there's not a whole lot of 
difference is you can tell it's pretty much the same mold of the figure I would say that the chest armor sticks out a little bit more and the shoulder pads are a little bit bulkier you know just a little bit just a smidge I think this Halo 5 figure is overall a little bit bigger than the Halo 4 version of that I don't know if they're using a different molding for the actual figures but uh, it looks like the figures themselves are a little bit bigger, just a little bit bigger than the Halo 4 series. Now here's the Master Chief next to his fellow blue team members, and I gotta say that this looks freaking awesome. You know, this is something that I've always wanted to see from McFarlane. You know, all the blue team members, well not all of them, we're still messing Linda. And if you really want to go back in time, you can go with all the other, you know, blue team members that they've had throughout the entire series of blue team. But... I do think this looks really awesome, and it's a really, really cool display piece, and I can't wait to get the complete Halo 5 version of Blue Team with Linda and just display them and make some cool animations with them. I'm very excited about that. Now, as far as articulation goes, he's got a decent amount of articulation. He can actually look down and up pretty well. He is a little bit limited in the articulation of how well he could turn by the shoulder pads. Not too bad, but just a little bit. He got a nice 360 at the upper arm there, a nice ball hinge at the shoulder, ball hinge at the wrist. You got a little bit of waist articulation. The hips are a little bit limited. They really can't go back and forth. They kind of swing out from side to side. You know, it doesn't really have a natural kind of motion to it, which is a little disappointing, especially for me since I make animations and I want to make their walking as, you know, fluid looking as possible. Can't really do that with the swivel type movement that they have. You got a nice ball hinge at the knee, at the ankle, and then some toe articulation, which is very, very helpful. And I really do love these snap kind of ratchety type joints that McFarlane has put into all of their Halo 5 series. And more recently within all of their Halo series, definitely helps them keep them more into place and keep them more balanced when you're trying to stand them up. Or more importantly, do animations like I do. So that's pretty much it, guys. I would definitely recommend picking up this Master Chief. If you haven't picked up a Master Chief already, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be picking up at least Master Chief because, I mean, it's the Master Chief. You know, he's going to be the main character or the main focus around Halo 5. You know, you're going to have a little bit of the Arbiter and Spartan Lock and stuff in there, I'm sure. But, really, the focus is Master Chief and, you know, everyone's pretty much Team Master Chief, so I know I am at least. So that's about it. Check out my channel, guys. I got a ton of Halo reviews on there. I also collect Mega Bloks, Walking Dead, Mortal Kombat, and all that good nerdy stuff. Make sure you subscribe because I come out with new videos every week. And I will see you guys all in my next video. And thank you all for watching.